Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pumbedia back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the brand new Battlefield Int Krillin right here on the global version of the game. Now, I'm going to say this right now, this guy is undoubtedly the best Krillin we have ever seen in Dokkan so far and I know, I know the bar for Krillins hasn't been set very high but this card actually has a lot going for him. He has great defense that stacks infinitely every single time he supers. He has an amazing passive that has the potential to give him a lot of attack and defense as well as additional supers and he's also self-sufficient for key. He's also a stunner which can be really really useful in modes like Super Battle Road or Battlefield. He has a decent link set, not the perfect link set but not a bad link set. And uh, yeah, he just has so many things going for him. He's a very versatile unit. And the only issue I see with him right now is the fact that his stats are a little bit lacking. Even for free to play standards, 9,851 attack at rainbow status is kind of sad. So that might hold him back a little bit, but we'll see in the showcase, obviously. And as far as his other details go, his leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack is solar flare, which raises defense by 30% and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is almost as long as the 18 from yesterday, so hold tight guys. Attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% per android slash cell saga category ally on the team, so of course we are running a full android cell saga team. And he also gets key plus four as the first attacker in a turn, key plus two as the second attacker, and launches an additional super attack when there is an Androids category enemy. And his links are experienced fighters, Z fighters, turtle school, in fighter, shocking speed, rival duo, and shattering the limit. And his only category at the moment is Android Cell Saga. So there is the unit guys, and here's the team. A little bit random I know, but since we're focusing on the Krillin, I try to not make it too OP. And we have this STR Yamja here as the linking partner for the Krillin. They share four links for a total of 35% attack. The uh, buff Goku here is also for support. And the 18 is also here for a little bit less support, but uh, I feel like she fits it with the theme of the showcase since it's Krillin, so I brought her as well. And uh, let's jump in, guys. We're doing the new Int LR Cell event. Uh, number one, because it is the new LR Cell event, but also because he is a Android's enemy, so Krillin will always get that guaranteed additional, which is going to be awesome. And it looks like, of course, that Krillin is in the second rotation, so we're not going to see him for a little while, but that's okay. Um, I guess, see, here's the thing I'm scared of, right? I really didn't want to have to bring the Rainbow into LR Cell because I feel like he might try to take over the showcase, but at the same time, He's the only, you know, Dokkan Fest leader for this category, so I don't really have a choice. So what I'm going to try to do is just give these guys, like the cells, uh, a lot less key than I normally would for like a regular run. And uh, just let, you know, just try to get through their rotation. I still, I, I mean, I still want to see what they can do, but I don't want to have them just like kill everything or kill all the stages too quickly and not allow us to see the Krillin, right? So I hope you guys understand that. See, there we go. First stage dead, all right. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, the Cell and the Cell Juniors, and we finally have this guy on rotation. So we're gonna link him up with the Yamcha, like I said, for that additional attack. And let's go for uh, the Tech Cell Junior here. And I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, he's not like a nuker or anything, so we can just give him these. And I guess Yamcha can put in some work too. I'm actually curious to see how much damage he does here. And uh, we can give these to 18. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got 35% from Yamcha and also 18% from the STR 18. And we almost reached a million attacks that right there, guys. Almost a million. 1.2 mil crit. Damn, Krillin. Holy crap. Okay. Um, of course, guaranteed additional from his passive because we are facing Android enemies. That's not bad, man. That's not a bad showing. And he's tanking really well, of course. 52 damage, uh, double digits I'm expecting for most of the event, except for supers, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting super. Yo, are we gonna... <laughs> I'm a little bit worried... Oh, he's fine. I was gonna say, I was a little bit worried about Yamcha because the only reason he's here is for the links. Um, 
just based on my research, I'm not 100% sure if he is, but I believe, just based on the research I've done, he's actually Krillin's best linking partner on the Android Cell Saga team, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, of course, I, I, I don't feel like most people would bring him on this team just for like a regular run or something like that, but since they're doing a showcase, I wanted to bring the best possible linking partner for him, right? But if you're running like a super int team or something like that, uh, you do have some better options. The uh, int baseball Yamcha actually is a bit of a better linking partner, but as far as this team goes, uh, <laughs> my only option really was the Yamcha, so there we go. Um, man, these guys are putting in work though. See, this is what I was scared of, man. This is what I was scared of. These guys are too strong, and I wish there was another leader. Uh, I could bring, but what can you do? Okay, now we have two, actually no, I was gonna say two supports, but no, we still have the Yamcha, but now we have the Goku on rotation as well for that extra 25% attack and defense. And at this point, Krillin already has 143,000 defense, guys. Yo, this man super twice, and his defense is already that high. That's crazy. <laughs> for comparison, um, I mean, like, these other guys right here, like, the Goku's 45,000, this Yamcha's 26,000. Obviously, you don't expect them to be tanks, but just look at that difference, man. Holy crap. Okay, um, let's finish off this Cell Jr. Here we go. That is amazing. I can see this guy doing really, really well on Super Battle Road, um, especially with the stuns, too. It's a combination of the tanking and the stunning that would just make him a beast on Super Battle Road. Um, and for anybody that's curious about like whether or not he's worth buying, I think so, man. I really, really think so. And, I mean, you're not always going to be fighting Android's enemies, so he's not always going to get those additional supers, but when you do, I mean, they're really, really clutch. They're really, really useful, especially when you got enemies doing like 200k plus supers to you. Um, man, I, I can't wait to pick this guy up on my main. Uh, I feel like, honestly, the Krillin might be better than the 18, if I'm just being completely honest. Uh, just so far, based on what I've seen, 18's awesome. She's really, really good, don't get me wrong. But I think the Krillin, just overall, as far as, you know, uh, versatility goes, as far as usefulness goes, I think he might actually be the better pickup than the 18 right now. Um, <laughs> and it's hard for me to say, because I love 18, like, more than anything. But, man, this Krillin's really, really good. <laughs> I'm not even playing right now, I'm not even just like boosting him because I'm showcasing him, but like his damage is very very solid, his, he, he's stunning like crazy, he's tanking like crazy, his defense is out of control, uh, we'll see what his defense is in a second, because it should be higher than it was like even before, um, because we did get two more supers off, that's another 30% twice, right? So let's see, let's see what happens here, okay. So his current defense now is 177,000. 177,000! For comparison, the Cell here who's rainbowed, of course he doesn't have any links active, so there's that, but 162,000 from Cell. Krillin's at 177,000 already, holy crap, guys. Oh my god, okay, let's see, um, hopefully, hopefully Cell supers us. I actually want to get super from Cell, because I want to see what we take here, alright. Yo, show me something good, Krillin. Show me something good. Okay, he's healing. That's okay. 895k. So damage-wise, he's gonna stay consistent. He doesn't really boost himself. He doesn't really get um, you know more attack as the fight goes on, right? So it's gonna be around this level. But if you include both supers, that's like I don't know, close to two million attack right there, right? And uh, as far as the tanking goes, I mean, yeah, double digit, 97 damage. Ah, oh, dude, <laughs> he's so good, <laughs> so freaking good. And I don't think this cell can be stunned. That's why he hasn't been stunned yet. I think that's the reason, because, uh, yeah, he can't be stunned. There we go. Yeah, I was like, yo, with the high chance to stun, there's no way this man is surviving or, like, not getting, we're not getting at least one of those to stun, right? Okay, so he gets one orb. Um, and I guess I'll let him super. Hopefully, we don't finish off the cell. We probably won't, actually, because we're only getting the 12 key from the LR. Uh, ooh, nice 18 key super there from the Cell guys right there. Very nice animation. Um, obviously, Cell is a tank. You guys don't need. You, you guys already know. You guys already know. The, the LR Cell is a beast when it comes to tanking too. So um, I don't have to really say anything about that. But man, Krillin has really blown me away, man. Not not really for his damage, which is, which has been very solid. Um, has definitely uh, exceeded expectations as far as damage goes. 
but just more so for the defense, man. That defense is insane and stacks infinitely, right? So uh, for longer events, this guy could in theory get up to like 500,000, a million defense. Like who knows, right? Look at that, 243,000 defense. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, that's awesome. That is amazing. And I'm going to put him right in front of those attacks. I don't even care. I'm not scared at all, man, because Cell's not touching us. Like, Cell literally is not going to do anything to Krillin right now. I am worried about the 18 at the end, but it's fine. It's fine. If we die, we die. Who cares, right? We've already seen what we need to see from Krillin. All right. Uh, taking regular 69. Nice. Nice. We're getting supered. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this does. I'm going to guess... I don't know, a thousand, maybe less. That was way over. Okay, I, w I wanted to be conservative. No, we we we, <laughs> we took that super for 97 damage, dude. 97 damage. No, for a second I was like, okay, you know, I don't want to get too optimistic. So let's say like he he tanks it very well, but still takes some damage. It's like nah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna take 97 damage from Cell's 18 key super. <laughs> This guy's amazing. This guy's awesome. I, I actually, I mean, I don't, okay, I don't regret picking up 18 instead of Krillin on my global, like my main global, but I gotta say, man, I really want this Krillin right now. Like, he's definitely a priority next. Next battlefield, uh, when I get the, the, the memory for the medals and all that stuff, man, definitely picking up this Krillin. He is too good to pass up. Anybody is still wondering whether or not he's worth the rainbow. 1 million percent dude 1 million percent worth the rainbow oh man i need to i need to do a showcase of him on super battle Road or something because man it, 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 it'd be crazy to see him take supers for like double triple digit damage on super battle Road, which i think he can i definitely definitely think this guy can because uh yeah he's just that good he's just that tanky he's just that much of a monster man i love this grillin dude Oh, yo, and if we didn't have the LRs, like the LR cells on the team, man, we probably could have lasted a few more turns. I, I think if we checked again, like next rotation, if we lasted till the next rotation, his defense would have been over 300,000, man. Like over 300,000, and this man is just going to be a freaking, I, I don't know, what, what's a really strong material? Diamond wall? I, like, <laughs> I don't even know, man. He's just crazy. Look at this. Okay, so... I mean, I, I had nothing to worry about. Obviously, his stats are not awesome. That that doesn't change. He doesn't have the most awesome stats, but uh, he more than makes up for that, man, with with the boost on the passive and the stunning and the um, what else? What else? The additional supers, the tanking, the defense. Man, he's awesome, amazing, amazing unit. I absolutely love him, and. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's showcase. That's all I really gotta say, man. I've been gushing about this freaking Krillin for the last 5-10 minutes, and I need to stop. I'm getting too excited. He's he's really good, though. I'm so glad they paid respects to our boy Krillin. I know D3 has been asking for this for a very long time, but uh, me too, man. I, I'm actually a huge Krillin fan, and I'm so glad he got the respect he deserves. Um, if this guy was like, you know, an unfeature or a, a non dokkan fest but summonable unit, nobody would bat an eye, man. Nobody would say anything. He's he's good enough. I don't think he's necessarily good enough to be a dokkan fest exclusive. He would have to have better stats. But um, if he was like a non dokkan fest summonable unit that like came with a new banner, he would be just fine, man. He would be perfectly good in that spot too because he's just that good, man. So good. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. He's amazing. Krillin's awesome. That's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this Krillin. And uh, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's showcase, you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.